Good morning, my name is Missy Weaver. I am the Elementary Curriculum Director for Allegheny County Schools, and I am this Thursday's Visiting Teller of Tales. And I'm going to tell you a great adventurous story about a dog and a little boy. Have you ever wondered where dogs go at night and what they do? Well, this little boy in this story has reason to believe that there is something funny going on. He's ready to find out what it is. Let's join and see what his little dog does every night. This story is one of my favorite stories, The Night I Followed the Dog, illustrator and author by Nina Ladden. The publisher of this book is Chronicles Book of San Francisco. I have a dog. Nothing exotic or special, just an ordinary dog. In fact, I always thought that he was kind of a boring dog. That, you know, I mean, he can fetch, he can roll over, shake hands, but mostly he just sleeps and eats. Well, I used to think our next door neighbor had the best dog in the world. Their dog can sing, change the channels on the TV. Their dog wins medals in obedience school. But I don't think their dog is so great now. Not since the night I followed my dog. Every night, I let my dog out, and he runs off into the darkness with his tail wagging. The next morning, I let him in, and he heads straight to the food bowl. But one morning, I knew something was funny when I opened the door just a little bit earlier than usual, and I saw my dog jump out of a limousine wearing a tuxedo. My dog doesn't get in a tuxedo or a limousine. Does your dog? Before I could look twice, he disappeared into the backyard. I opened the kitchen door and whistled. When he came into the house, he was the same as always, hungry. I really wasn't sure what I had seen. So that night, I decided to follow my dog. I wore dark clothing. That's so he wouldn't see me. I would match with the night. I'd be camouflaged. So I wouldn't be noticed. I left my bicycle near the door so I'd have it close by. When I let the dog out, I slipped out too. I took out the garbage so he wouldn't suspect anything. The dog went straight to his doghouse. I saw a light go on on the inside. Slowly, I snuck around the backyard and I peeked into his doghouse. This was not the doghouse that I have helped to build. Inside, there was a living room a bathroom, and a huge closet of fancy clothes. The dog was in his bathroom. He was wearing a tuxedo and fumbling around with his bow tie. When he came out, casually walking out of his doghouse, and he went across the yard, and he started down the street. I grabbed my bicycle, and I followed him. Two blocks later, I saw a limousine. It pulled over. The dog got in the car, and the car took off. I started pedaling faster and faster. The car headed across town. I thought I'd lose him, but luckily, luckily, there were a few stoplights. And on back of the tag, I don't know if you can see, it says K-9 on the license plate. That means dog actually a police dog. After a while, I found myself in a part of town that I had never seen before. 
the buildings all seemed to be empty, and it was very quiet. The limousine stopped. I hid, and I watched my dog get out. He disappeared into a building, and the limousine pulled away. There was nothing on the outside of the building, just two brass fire hydrants on the side of the entrance. I opened the door, and at the end of the hall, there was a neon bright sign that said, The Dog House. I crept closer. It looked like some kind of club. I decided I'd go get a closer look. The moment I opened the door, two mean-looking bulldogs appeared and said, You cannot come in here. Well, I, I didn't know what to say, so I said, but, 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 but I saw my, I mean, I thought I saw my dog come in here. Just then, my dog walked over and said, It's okay, boys. He's with me. The bulldog said, Sure, boss. Yes, sir, boss. Whatever you say, boss. They do look mean, don't they? And here is his dog. For a minute, that seemed like forever. Sorry. I waited. Then my dog said, I knew you would eventually find out. Well, now you know. This, this is my place. I looked around. Finally, I said, what, what is this place? My dog said, this, this is a place where dogs come after a hard day. This is a place where we can relax. It's a place where we can talk about our problems with the mailman or the problems with the poodle next door. See all the sofas? We can sit on the sofas here. We can get treats without having to lay down, roll over, or play dead. And if we want to chew on a shoe or chase our tail, no one's to stop us. We have no masters here, no leashes, and no rolled up newspapers. This, this is a place where dogs can be dogs. We sat down. A Cocker Spaniel came by and asked me if I would like a bowl of water or a dog biscuit. Little by little, dogs of all kinds started coming in. Some danced, some talked. They all looked at me a little funny. But when they saw who I was with, they smiled and they shook my hand. He must be very important. At one point, my dog waved to an African with a camera she came over to our table and took a picture of us together. Being with my dog made me feel like a movie star. Just when I was really starting to enjoy myself, I looked at my watch. I told my dog I had to leave or I'd get in big trouble. He nodded. I think he was about to say something. But a glamorous greyhound came over and whisked his paw and they went to the dance floor. As he was getting up, he tossed the photo of us. Then he bowed and slightly disappeared into the crowd. It was way past my bedtime. As I pedaled home into the cool night, I thought to myself, now, I'm really going to be in the doghouse. But then again, that might not be so bad. The end. Thank you for listening to my story today, and I hope you enjoyed it. Once again, this is a story coming from Thursday's Visiting Teller of Tales. Thank you, and have a great day.